Olá, tudo bem? Aqui é a Maria. A entrevista que eu fiz com o Rob e o Josh do projeto Cornucópias, que é um projeto de metaverso na Cardano, infelizmente caiu num dia onde a minha internet estava muito ruim. Mas eu pedi que assim mesmo nós fizéssemos o vídeo, porque nós não conseguiríamos espaço em ambas as agendas em nenhum outro momento no futuro. Eu espero que você aproveite a entrevista e no final tenha uma surpresa. Hi everyone, my name is Maria Carmo. I'm a host of the Cardan Summit 2022 in Sao Paulo. How are you doing today, guys? Doing very well. It's good Hello, to be Brazil. here. Hello, Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Hi, Maria. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. I love to be here home and contribute to the community. You know, it's a big thing for me. And it's a pleasure to receive you both here. I got a few questions uh, about what you do in the community, how it's going. So if you could just uh, present yourself briefly. So some people in the community are here for the first time. They may don't know you. Uh, okay, sure. My name is Josh, and I am co-CEO of Cornucopias with Rob. Uh, I handle a lot of, I mean, basically Rob and I are full-time around the clock support for a lot of our existing team. Uh, working through all sorts of things like roadmaps, new tech that we're building. There's a lot of tech uh, behind the scenes going on right now that we are executing on, which is very exciting. Uh, directing the team in, in regards to the game and collaborating and going back and forth with our creative and technical director. Uh, there's just a lot overall. Um, getting our finances in order, um, you know, and, and getting us compliant uh that's that's just a quick summary of this morning working on existing stream of streams of revenue and pot uh, future potential to keep our company funded so that we can really come through on our promises for the community that's a, a good chunk of my time as well and so yeah it's a it's a full load there's no doubt there's a lot going on we've grown way too fast we're really trying to focus and hunker down on getting organized right now overall so that we can uh, position ourselves with a solid foundation to scale when the uh when the time comes rob yeah I, i'm rob greg i'm the other co-ceo um yeah so we're i suppose we're we're right in the middle of planning what what how we're going to build our our racing game and our metaverse for for the really over this next 18 months two years in the bear market to, to see get ready for for when we come out and you know everything's ready to take off so yeah we're, we're heavy in planning at the moment right so as we are talking about metaverse what's your version of metaverse your explanation somebody come to you and say okay robin josh what is a metaverse what would you say uh somebody asked what a metaverse is well <clears throat> That's a tough question because I think there's so many uh, different definitions out there. I would say that it is a layer on top of the internet that is facilitated by Web3 technology, uh, which enables the free flow of assets within that layer to create a an, an additional economy, so to speak, uh, where people can connect with one another whether it's through video sharing or through uh, a game engine or whatever it may be, but people can connect and they can transfer assets and uh, they can coexist with one another. They can receive data from different sources. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's kind of the way that I would explain it. But, you know, I think a lot of the people in the crypto space are looking at it as a, land that you can run around inside of and connect with people and exchange assets. So I think there's a little bit more of a confined definition of metaverse uh, throughout the community. And that's, at least that's what it seems to be. And so our definition of a metaverse from the cornucopius perspective would be that we're building out uh, a place for people to run around uh, and accomplish various tasks in our game. Uh, connect with friends, invite friends to their space and socialize in a new and unique way. And then also the transfer of, of Web3 assets like NFTs and, and exchanging assets like that as well. A, a cryptocurrency Web3 is a social space where people have some kind of a currency layer. So it's a digital currency. So in our case, it will be ADA and, and the Kopi token. 
Um, and yeah, we're decentralized. That has to play an important part of it. And and where players own their own assets. Um, there is a Telegram group from Chronocopias made by Brazilian. I just let you know. And Rob, they got something for you. Lucas oh. said the Manchester United is better than Manchester City. I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Well, I can understand that because obviously, you know, he's he's not from England. So the majority of Manchester United fans don't live in England. So it's it's acceptable. <laughs> you, you will find, though, that Man City are the best team in the world. <laughs> All right. You know, we are from Brazil and football is a big thing here for us. We all have something to comment about football. Yeah, we've had a lot of Bra we've had a lot of Brazilian players, you know. I know. So the, something I would ask, like to ask that community also also ask me to ask you both: how to become an OG? Some people in the community are dreaming of this day they could sign up and become an OG somehow because they love what you do and all the stuff you do for the uh, old guard people. Yeah, there's a there's no exact science to it. It's really about getting in there into the discord and adding value uh, and helping helping with community members and uh being a part of that bringing new members in um adding value by answering questions helping people to you know for example recently we just bridged from uh bsc to cardano we we played a big part in uh, the uh, chain port bridge that now exists for all Cardano native tokens and ETH and BSC. And that's pretty, pretty awesome that we were able to bring that value of interoperability to community. But for example, there's a lot of people in our discord now that are needing assistance with how do I, how do I work this bridge? And uh, so, you know, that's, that's the main thing is get in there and, and help people out and be involved and be active in the community. And sooner or later, You'll probably earn your way into an OG spot. Yeah, there, there are some basic rules as well, and we all know that rule number one is: don't ask to become an OG. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be invited. I see. Right. The next question is: um, what was the most impactful project in the terms of game or NFT in the Cardano blockchain, in your opinion? Obviously apart from cornucopias, because, you know, we are pioneers of something somehow. Maybe we are pioneers in, in, as investor. Maybe you are pioneer as a builder. There is anything else in the community that you say, wow, this is something that's going to be big someday. Is there any other project uh, in the yeah. community okay. that's got your attention? Yeah, uh, I, I really like what the Clay Nation group is doing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of uh, creativity there and they've built an incredible community. Um, I like what Gala's doing. Uh, they've they've done really well. That's a different chain, um, but they've really built out a gaming ecosystem very well, and they've pioneered certain uh, interesting strategies. Um, so yeah, those are two on my end, Rob. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Dirt Birds because of the technology that that they're bringing. They they introduced yeah. they they were one of the pioneers of of multi sig. Um, but we know those guys very well. Um, I'm also a fan of Future Fest. I think what 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 they're trying to do in in the music industry um, with with um, live metaverses, I I think is great. Um, I think Drip Drops have, have done an amazing job with, with their platform. Uh, there's lots and lots of of, of different pioneers. The, the the Anvil guys that they're new to to the scene, but that they've they've started off with you know with with a huge bang. Yeah, lots and lots of projects. And when we were at CNFT Con, we had the chance to go around and, and talk to some of the up, up and coming ones as well. So it was really exciting. The last questions. I'm very curious. Do you have a demographic for your game? You say, oh, we have more Cunicapian people in this part of the world and this other part of the world. How do you do to build international community? That's actually something that we have not been able to cultivate as much as I would like. Uh, but we definitely had some stats. We did a, a poll in our Discord quite a while back where people would select what flag, the, the flag, they would like the flag of the, the country that they were in. And that started to help us gather a little more information and see who's active from what countries. 
because it's not just important of like where they're logging in from, but are they active and paying attention to what we're doing and stuff like that. And, and that was a good sampling of where a lot of our people are. Uh, but yeah, eventually we would like to get more involved. I, I hear think Brazil was high up there. So we want to say hello to all of the community there that are, are watching and following us. And, um, you know, if there's feedback you have for us about how to get more engaged and, and create more involvement within the Brazilian community, please reach out to us. Let us know. Reach out to the mods on our Discord. Uh, we can start a channel, you know, with with uh, the, the that language of, of Portuguese is that the primary language or it, it is it would be our honor yeah, to, yeah, have, so... to have it to be honest because I think we get together and we approximate each other by language and culture if you have that channel that is more mm -hmm. space there you kind of cultivate and motivate us to be, come back more and more and more thank you very much for that idea it's all that I have for today and thank you very much to take your time to talk to us uh, I love everything you are doing. And if I can cope and help in any way, please reach out to me. Bye-bye. Well, thank you very much for reaching out to us. Yeah, Thanks, thank Maria. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Brazil.